I'm bored this weekend. What can we do? Well, South African New, I really don't know. Do you have any ideas what we can do for entertainment, Giant Blueberry? <laughs> well, it just so happens I do. Oh, good. I have three tickets that Mr. Invento gave us to go see the new park called Safari Trek. Safari yeah. Trek. <laughs> hey, I, I don't know what it is, but that could be fun. I've always wanted to go on a safari. Okay, if I agree to go with you two to this safari park, do you promise to stay out of trouble? I said, do you both promise to stay out of trouble? No, I, I promise to be good behavior, Miss Carolyn. After all, I, I may even meet some of my relatives there. Well, Blueberry, you haven't said anything. Oh, hey, these tickets say that the gates are already open at Safari Trek. We better hurry or we'll be late. Come Hold on. up. Oh, come on. Come Hold on. up. Blueberry. Do you promise not to embarrass me on this trip? Miss Carolyn, that's the furthest thing from my mind. <laughs> uh, can we go now, please? Pretty please, please? Oh, all right. Let me get a hat first. Oh, goody. I brought a hat myself. I've seen big game hunters wear the same kind when they go on safari. How do I look in it, huh, Miss Carolyn? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it looks a bit like a bottle cap sitting on top of a blue basketball. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Robert Redford, you're not. <laughs> but you look fine. Let's go. Return to the kids' radio show in a moment. There's another new, there's another new, there's another new in town. There's another new, there's another new, it's the newest new around. And the newest new is the nicest new that I never knew till now. And I know the new who's the newest new will be nice to know some. And the news of the new was the news of the zoo Cause the new new they know needs another new so There's another new, there's another new, there's another new in town There's another new, there's another new, it's the newest new around It's a brand new, it's a grand new, it's the newest new 
to the safari track? Uh, w welcome, one and all, to Safari Track, a, a wild animal park where different species roam free in their natural uh, uh, settings. The giant refuge park is surrounded with electrical fence to keep the wild animals safely inside. Please remain in your car at all times, since many of the animals are dangerous. Well, he answered my question, I think. Uh, may I see your tickets, please? Say, what are you doing driving a car? How did you get out of the park? Miss Carolyn, what's he talking about? Uh, sir, this is the South African New, and he's with us. He didn't escape from Safari Trek Park like you think. Here's three tickets, one for myself, one for the South African New, and one for another person. A person? Hey, lady, he looks more like, like, uh... <laughs> like a giant blueberry. <laughs> oh, that's because that's what I am, a giant blueberry. Want to make something of it, Funny Beak? <laughs> no, sorry. It's just that we don't get many women driving through Safari Trek with a new and a giant blueberry in a car. Please proceed down this road, through the gate, and follow the arrows for directions. Oh, Miss Carolyn? What did that man mean? If I want to travel around with a human and a giant blueberry, I don't see what's so unusual about that. Never mind, New. I think we just kind of took him by surprise. Forget about it and just look at the scenery. It's magnificent here. Oh, look over there. There's a whole herd of antelope grazing. Mmm, I might join them. I'm getting hungry. Well, you'll just have to wait until after we've driven through Safari Trek Park. <laughs> Hey, look over there by that big pond of water in the trees. It's a long way off, but I thought I saw a little hut back up in the trees. Maybe it's a hot dog stand or something. You mm. two will just have to control your stomachs. You heard what that park attendant said. No one can get out of their cars because it's too dangerous. And there's no road that even leads in that direction. Oh, look, Miss Carolyn. Uh, I'm going to stop the car because there's some very strange-looking trees beside the road here. I've never seen anything like them before. Hmm, those are weird trees. <laughs> yeah, uh, they have real skinny yellow trunks and fat, bushy tops. Uh, I'm going to stick my arm out of the car window here and pluck some of those leaves off one of them. <laughs> hey, these leaves feel soft, almost like chicken feathers. Here, I'll pull some of them. Mmm! No, it's alive, and it's mad. You plucked some tail feathers out of one of the ostriches with his head Ooh. stuck in the sand. Ooh. They're not trees. Roll up the windows quickly, or that peeved ostrich is going to peck us all to death. A thing with wings that doesn't fly that's never been up in the sky. A thing whose head and neck are bald. What in heaven's name? the most 
most confused bird that I'll show to you. Ostrich, ostrich, but it is true that he's the most confused bird that I'll show to you. A thing that hides its head in sand when danger seems to be at hand. A thing that looks up in the rain. How in the world would a thing like that? Well, thanks to you plucking the tail feathers of the ostrich while his head was in the sand, Blueberry, the body of my car looks like it's been through a hailstorm. He pecked it with his beak probably 200 times before we got away down the road. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I never knew that an ostrich could get so enraged. <laughs> Just don't stick your arms out of the car to pluck anything else, Blueberry. What was that? Oh, what was that? Oh, dear, we've had a blowout of the front tire. Well... We'll just have to change it before we continue. But I thought you said it was too dangerous to get out of the car, Miss Carolyn. It is, but I don't see any other... Oh, no, there went another front tire. Oh, Miss Carolyn, we don't have two spare tires. Hey, this is pretty strange. Uh, we just lost a rear back tire, too. Something is strange. Instead of blowouts... That sounds more like, like a rifle shot. It was a rifle shot. Someone has shot all of our tires out. Oh, why would anyone do that? I don't know. Hey, you don't think that that enraged ostrich got a gun and trailed us, do you? Oh, don't oh, be silly oh. at a time like this, Blueberry. Well, okay. Oh, do you think whoever was shooting our tires has stopped now, Miss Carolyn? Duck! <laughs> Does that answer your question, New? Whoever it is is going to keep shooting at the car now. We've got to get out of the car and make a run for it. Oh, maybe we can make it to that hut that was in the big clump of trees by the pond that we drove by earlier. Oh, it's closer than the main gate. Maybe if we all ran, we could make it to that hut. And if the hut is a hot dog stand, we could get something to eat, too. What? Oh, never mind. Is everyone ready? Let's go. Come on. Everybody run in a zigzag pattern. Keep your heads down. We're still being shot at. Oh, Miss Carolyn, I'm scared. Well, just keep moving, New. We're almost to the pond. Once we get across it and into those trees, we'll be harder to see. We're just sitting targets out here in the open. <laughs> yeah, I'm even, I'm even shaped like a big target. Miss Carolyn, how are we going to get across this big pond? We'll look around for a little boat or something. Oh, wait a minute. I see a way across. We can leap a step at a time across on all those floating logs in the water. Look. Can everyone swim in case anybody falls in? Oh, I can't. But, but I don't want to be made into a trophy. So let's start hoofing, Miss... Oh, I feel like a lumberjack in a log rolling championship. Come on, everybody. We're almost to the other side. Oh, we've made it. No, not everybody made it, Miss Carolyn. The blueberry is still on the other side of the pond. Blueberry, what are you doing? Come on! Oh, I don't like the looks of those logs, Miss Carolyn. I'll just stay here, okay? <laughs> oh, on second thought, I'm coming over right now. Oh, uh, I'll just tippy-toe from one log to the other. They're, they're kind of bumpy and slippery on some of them. Hey, this log is alive! Move fast, Blueberry! You're standing on the back of a crocodile! Whoa! Oh, what big teeth you have! Oh. We all know that crocodiles have big appetites. They don't take a tiny taste, they take a whole bite. They will eat most anyone who comes into their view. They are hungry all day long and all the night through. So if you want to be a winner, 
cannot end up his dinner. Watch your step. If you are careless and deny it, get included in his diet. Watch your step. Watch your step. We all know that crocodiles pretend they're asleep. They can float successfully, never make a peep. Don't trust them for your own sake, because if you do, in a flash you'll end up as crocodiles do. So if you want to be a winner, and not end up as dinner, watch your step. If you were careless and deny it, Get included in his diet. Watch your step. Watch your step. If your throat is parched and dry and you need a rest, don't forget the water's edges where he's at his best. Don't allow yourself to dream and wonder at the fish. Cause in a second, He'll make you a favorite dish. So if you want to be a winner and not end up this dinner, watch your step. If you were careless and deny it, get included in his diet. Watch your step. If you're in the mood to take a long, refreshing swim. Don't go out too far and deep, forget about him. Once you're out there all alone and above your head, you haven't got a single hope, not even a shred. So if you want to be a winner and not end up this dinner, watch your step. If you were careless and deny it, Get included in his diet Watch your step Watch your step Watch your step Watch your step I don't think I've ever seen you move so fast before, Blueberry. It looked to the new and me almost like you ran over the top of the water after you stepped on top of that crocodile. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad you made it here into the trees with us. This is pretty thick jungle and will be hard to spot. Well, what are we waiting here for, Miss Carolyn? Whoever's been shooting at us will be coming across that pond after us any moment. I just want to get a look at them, whoever it is. Ah, and there he is now. No, oh, he's dressed like a big game hunter, and he's got a rifle with a scope on it. How's he going to get across the pond? Shh, let's walk. Up, boy, up! I have need of you! Up, boy, up! Come to me, boy! Oh, Miss Carolyn, why is he talking to the pond? Shh, just watch! Ooh, something is coming up out of the water, and it's big, too. Is it an underwater elephant? No, it's a hippopotamus. And that hunter is climbing on his back and heading this way towards us on his back. Ooh. Quick, through the jungle and into that hut we saw. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Herbivorous hippo hippopotamus. Herbivorous hippo hippopotamus moving slowly in cool water, doing things just as he oughta. Herbivorous hippo hippopotamus. Herbivorous hippo hippopotamus. Herbivorous hippo hippopotamus. Meat is not part of his diet. He hates fish and never tries it. Herbivorous hippo hippopotamus. Babies born in the bottom of the riverbed. Covered over with a fertilized baby spread. 
herbivorous hippo hippopotamus herbivorous hippo hippopotamus he likes plants and leafy seaweed watering holes are where he does feed herbivorous hippo hippopotamus herbivorous hippo hippopotamus Herbivorous hippo hippopotamus Mud packs keep his skin in top style Sun baths help him with his big smile Herbivorous hippo hippopotamus Herbivorous hippo hippopotamus We'll return for more Kids Radio Show after this. Oh, the chimpanzee up in the tree Swings from vine to vine Isn't it great that I can state He's a friend of mine Oh, the tall giraffe that makes you laugh Standing high in line Isn't it great that I can state He's a friend of mine Oh, the shaggy hound that hangs around Sure is mighty fine Isn't it great that I can state He's a friend of mine Who wanders loose through the spruce and pine Isn't it great that I can state He's a friend of mine Oh, the cat I love Whose mask out of engine number nine Isn't it great that I can state He's a friend of mine shine. Isn't it great that I can state he's a friend of mine. 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 Everybody get inside the hut, and maybe we can escape that crazy hunter that's been shooting at us. Ooh, Miss Carolyn, it's kind of dark inside this hut. Well, everybody try to find a light switch or something. Oh, Miss Carolyn, I think I see a long cord hanging from the ceiling. Oh? Uh, maybe if I pull it, a light will come on. Go ahead, New. Hey, I think I found a kerosene lamp. I'll try lighting it. Oh, the cord just fell off into my hand when I pulled it. Oh, and it's moving around in my hand. Here, I've got the lamp lit. Let's see if... Oh, it's a snake. I'm got a hold of a big well, snake. drop it, oh, Newt. Oh, Get away oh, from oh, it. Oh, oh. oh, hey, this whole hut is full of reptiles. Oh, I can see now that you've lit the lamp, Miss Carolyn. Oh, my gosh, the whole room is full of ugly reptiles. Oh, oh, oh. take it easy. They haven't hurt anyone yet. Maybe they're harmless. Oh. Oh, that boa constrictor is starting to look at me like a meal, Miss Carolyn. Hmm, it's oh. obvious someone besides the reptiles lives here. Oh, yeah, and whoever it is, I bet he doesn't get many guests that are anxious to visit him mm. with a house full of snakes and reptiles. Oh. Yuck. Yeah. Come to your house for tea, but your door is never locked. I know the company you keep, I know that when I knock, the door will open. 
and while you'll ask me to come in and once I am inside and ask you how you been I see that on your sofa sits a hungry crocodile you'll clear a spot for me and ask if I will stay a while And careful not to make a sound I'll hear a rattle at my back And slowly turn around Copperheads and cotton mouths Slither around your feet A lizard on your shoulder You'll tell me you can eat Your cobra is quite nice I'll say, trying to relax uh, he, he seems friendly enough. How are his poison sacks? I feel something against my leg. It's just your alligator. I'll jump, I'll be a bit on edge. I won't want to irritate her. He's just a baby. You will say with your sensitive demure. And not to seem dismayed, I stay shaking. I say, sure. <laughs> I try to sit up straight, but something's tugging at my sock. Your crock is nudging me as I'm going into shock. You show me your pet python. Nice. Tell me how you picked her. Well, wrapped around my other leg is your boa constrictor. You show me Aston muggers, lizards, newts, and skinks. I hear my heart beat beat so fast as I ask you for a drink. But sitting in your kitchen sink will be your pet iguana. So I thank you for inviting me. But I don't think I wanna. Someone's at the front door of the hut. Quick, Blueberry, take this big baseball bat that's leaning against the wall. Sneak out the back door of the hut and come around to the front slowly and try to sneak up on that crazy hunter and bop him from behind. The new and I will try to keep him occupied. Oh, okay, Miss Carolyn, I'm going. Here, new, sit down with me in the middle of the floor and put your hands in the air to show we surrender. No, I don't have any hands, Miss Carolyn. News have hooves. Oh, whatever, oh. just do it. Aha! Caught you breaking into my home! I knew you poachers would return again, and I waited for the right moment to catch you in the act. Keep those hands up! What? There must be some mistake here. Oh, that's what they all say. I know poachers when I see them. Besides, I saw you do your poaching right from your car earlier. I stalked you, and I waited for the right moment to shoot out your tires. And if you bothered my little pets in my hut, you'll pay dearly. Oh, Miss Carolyn, is he going to shoot and stuff me? Keep oh. those hooves in the air, beastie. Oh. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, an animal helping poachers. Well, sir, at least tell us who you are. Maybe there's been a terrible mix-up of some sort. I don't have to tell poachers anything. But I will anyway. My name is Colonel Quentin, African Explorer. Retired. There's elephants in the Congo They've never found before a But I'm a gonna find them I'm an African explorer He's an African explorer There's lions in the Congo That scare you when they roar up I'll catch me three or four up I'm an African explorer He's an African explorer I'll walk around in jungle town As fearless as can be Have lunch at noon with a big baboon And swing with a chimpanzee Whee! There's panthers in the treetops I'll knock them to the floor up. Cause who's afraid of panthers? I'm an African explorer I'll walk 
Go round in jungle town and follow every trail. Wipe off the smile from a crocodile and wiggle him by the tail. The tigers in the Congo, I'll track them by the score of Cause who's afraid of tigers? I'm an African explorer. An African explorer. But why were you trying to shoot us? If I had been trying to hit you, I wouldn't have missed every time I shot. I was just trying to trap you and turn you over to the authorities for your crime. No, what crime? Harming my animals. I own this park and I'm tired of people using my animals for their own greed. They steal my crocodiles to make suitcases and shoes, my elephant's tusks to make piano keys, my lions for rugs. Wait a minute, we didn't take anything or bother your animals. Oh yes you did. I saw you pluck the tail feathers from one of my ostriches. You were probably planning on making a hat out of my ostrich. <gasps> oh dear, I see how that must have looked. But you have to believe me when I tell you that that was an honest mistake. You see, the giant blueberry thought that the ostrich was a tree because he had his head stuck in the sand. He was going to only pull off a leaf from what he thought was a strange new type of tree he'd never seen. Uh, she's telling you the truth, mister. You'd have to know the mind of the giant blueberry. That's for sure. Hmm. Well, my ostriches do look kind of like trees when they stick their heads in the sand. <laughs> Maybe I was too hasty. I'll lower my rifle. And you can lower your hands now. Looks like I owe you folks an, an apology. <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta be real quiet so I can sneak up behind this hunter character. He's just standing there in the doorway of the hut. Uh, I guess Miss Carolyn and the new are keeping him busy like they said they would so I could sneak up behind him now and bop him with his bat. Well, here goes nothing. I'll just take a big swing with a bat over my head and come right down on the top of his jungle hat with it as hard as I can. One, two, three... Hey, hey! Something has grabbed my bat from behind! Ooh, it's an elephant! And he's grabbed my bat in his trunk! Easy, big boy. Hey, hey, what are you gonna do with that baseball bat? No, oh, you're not gonna use that bat! Oh, no, no! no. Somebody! Hey, stop it! Help! Somebody! Somebody! Stop being that fellow! Drop the bat! Jump! Blueberry, everything is okay. Colonel Quinn thought we were poachers when you pulled the ostrich's tail feathers out. But everything is fine now. Oh, if you say so, Miss Carolyn, but could someone get this elephant to take his foot off my back now? Uh, that is, if he finished holding me down and using me for batting practice. Oh. He is the biggest mammal around. He's the largest one around to be found. He has two floppy ears and a long sloping nose. And on each foot he has five of his toes. Biggest of the mammals, biggest mammal elephant. He is a pachyderm, it is said. He is thick-skinned from his tail to his head. He has two ivory tusks that are valued by all. He weighs a ton and is eleven feet tall. Biggest of the mammals, heavy thick-skinned elephant. He travels with his pals in a herd. Doesn't forget any deed or a word He eats bushes and leaves and loves sweet sugar cane Uproots big trees with no particular strain He takes a shower at least once a day Uses his trunk as a freshwater spray When he trumpets a sound It's heard both far and near He's no big talker But he's loud and clear Water spraying mammal Trumpet sounding mammal Biggest mammal elephant Elephant
return for the conclusion of Kids Radio Show in a moment. We ended the day at Safari Trek by Colonel Quinton giving us all a ride on Jumbo to the edge of town where he repaired our car. Even the giant blueberry felt better. All Kids Radio Show episodes are written by Kel Pickens and co-produced by Carolyn Meyer and Kel Pickens. The park attendant and Colonel Quinton were played by Tony Thomas. Till next week, bye!